Alright guys, welcome back to the next part of the Hatsune Miku Minecraft Pixel Art Tutorial, part 4, the, the, the part you guys have been asking for. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into uh, where we left off, and that is, I have no idea because it's been forever, hasn't it? So we're going to go ahead and start off with the black wool. And I want to connect this area right here, the hair to, the hair to, I guess the body. Uh, we're going to move to this what was 23 black wools that we had here going up. We're going to start from the top of it, uh, on the right side of it. So starting from there, you can go ahead and put a placement block. Put a placement block there, so it looks like that. Now once you've done that, what you're going to be doing next is switching over to the black wool. Place a black wool underneath the placement blocks. So go ahead and put one black wool there. And once we've done that, let's go ahead and get rid of that placement block. And now we're going to be placing three sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's get rid of this placement so it looks like this. Now we're gonna be placing one block going down to the right. So that's one. And now we're gonna be placing three sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. That's one, two, one, one, whoops. It's one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's go ahead and get rid of those placements. Head back down here. And now let's place one block going down to the right. So that's one. And now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going, or not two sets, three sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. And it should be making contact with the four black wools that we have here going across. So it's just a simple pattern after we had that first initial block. We had three sets of twos, then one, three sets of twos, then one, and then three sets of twos. Of course, following that first black wool that we placed here, the very first one that we just placed. All right, so now that we have the hair and the body kind of connected, we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish off uh, making her chin outline. So starting from these two black wolves that we have here going across that were on top of these four that was already here. So starting from there, starting from the right block, we're gonna be placing one block going up to the right. So that's one. Next, we're gonna be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one at two. Now we're gonna be placing two blocks going diagonal to the right. That's one and two. And once we've done that, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one and two. Next, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And after that, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one and two. Next, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of those placement blocks. And once we've done that, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. So now we're going to be switching over to the placement block, and we're going to be placing, uh, on top of this black wool here, we're going to be placing two placement blocks going up. So that's one and two. Switch over to the black wool, starting from the top block on the right side of the placement. So starting from there, we're going to be adding 16 black wools going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's 16 black wolves. Let's go ahead and head back up here. Let's get rid of the placement block. And now that we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is we're actually going to be switching over to the light blue wool for just a moment. And we're going to head back up here, starting from the top block on the right side of these 16 black wolves. So starting from there, we're going to be adding 12 blue wools going down. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 12 blue wools. 
And once you've done that, we're going to be switching over to the black wool. Now with the black wool, we're going to start on the right side, the bottom block of these 12 blue wools, light blue wools, on the right side, and we're going to move one block up. So we're going to start here, but starting one block above it, so we're going to start from there. Now starting from here, we're going to be adding nine black wools going down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it should look like this. And now from here, we're just going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. Now, once you've done that, we're going to be switching over to the placement block. Now, with the placement block, starting from the bottom block of these nine black holes on the right side. So starting from there, we're going to be adding two placement blocks going up. That's one and two. Switch back over to the black wool. Add two blocks going up on top of the placement. So that's one, two. Get rid of the placement blocks now. Now from here, we're going to be placing four blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four. And once we've done that, we're going to be placing it from here. Uh, we're actually not going to be placing well, We're going to be switching over. Let's switch over to the cyan, the or, uh, cyan concrete. There we go. <laughs> switch over to the cyan concrete, and we're going to be placing one block from here going up to the left. So that's one. So it should look exactly like this. All right, so now that we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is switching back over to the light blue wool. And we're going to be filling in this empty space right here with the light blue wool. Let's go and fill this in with the light blue wool. So it looks like that. And now that we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is switching back over to the black wool. Now with the black wool, we're going to start from here where we left off uh, of the outline. and. From here, we're going to be placing seven sets of threes going up on the right. Seven sets of threes. So that's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. And one, two, three, seven. That's seven sets of threes. Seven sets of threes. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like that. So now we're going to fly back up here and we're just going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. So that's one and two. So it should look like that. Now we're going to head back down here. Now going back down here, uh, we're going to, let's see, we're actually going to go back all the way down here, kind of above the tie above her blue tie here, we're going to find this area where we have these two black wools going across. Again, it's just above her tie. And we're going to start on the right side of it. So starting from there, we're going to be placing one black wool going up to the right. That's one. Next, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks. All right, so it looks like that. Making sure I don't lose you. And making sure I don't lose the audio. Okay. Alright, so now that we have our two sets of twos, from here we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks. Head back up here. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of the placements. Head back up here. And from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one and two. Let's get rid of that placement block. Now, before we move on, I want you to switch over to the birch plank. So let's switch over to the birch plank for just a minute. And we're going to start on top of the right block of these two black wools. So starting from there, we're just going to be adding one birch plank. So that's one. So it looks like that. And uh, once you have that there, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two. Now we're going to be placing two sets of threes going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, two. Get rid of the placements. Head back over here. 
Now from here we're going to be placing seven blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's get rid of the placement block. And now we're going to be placing now we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two. Now place one block going down to the left. That's one. And once you've done that, you're going to be placing two sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's get rid of that placement block. Next, we're going to be placing four blocks going down on the left. So that's one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing two sets of twos going down. Or not two sets of twos, that's my bad. We're going to be just placing one one block starting from the bottom block on the right side so from the bottom block on the right so from here we're just going to be placing one birch plank so that's one so it looks like this an l shape now let's go back to this small space that's right here we're going to go ahead and fill this right here with the birch plank so go ahead and fill that in with birch plank so it looks like that Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to go back over here, going back to this one block that we placed. We're going to add one more birch plank underneath it, so that's one. So now from this block, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. So that's one, two. And now place one block going down to the right. That's one. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the right. So that's one and two. Two. Get rid of that placement block. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now we're going to be filling in these three small spaces here with the birch plank. So go ahead and fill this in with this with the birch plank. These three small spaces. And once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is switching back over to the black wall. So let's go back up here, back to where we started with that birch plank outline. So going back to this one birch plank on the right side of it, we're going to be adding one black wool, so that's one. Now once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two. Let's switch this around, okay. And now that we have our two black wools here, what we're going to be doing, uh, just for now, let's go ahead and try to get a little organized here. So I don't confuse myself later on. Uh, we're going to be switching over to the white wool. So switch over to the white wool. And now with the white wool, we're going to be placing one block underneath the left block of the two black wools here. So just place one white wool there. And while we're at it, we're going to be placing another white going down to the left. So that's one. And it should look like this. Alright, so once we've done that, we're going to switch back over to the black wool. Let's head back over here to the right side of these two black wools. And we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. So that's one, two. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing 10 blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's fly back down, get rid of that placement block. And let's head back up here. Now from here, we're going to be placing three blocks going up on the right. So that's one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're going to be placing one block going up to the left. So that's one. And now, starting from the top block of these three black walls, so starting from here, on the right side of it, we're going to be adding one black wall. So that's one. And once you've done that, you're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's get rid of that placement block. And once we've gotten rid of the placement block, we're going to switch back over to the white wool. Starting underneath this one black wool here, we're going to be placing one white, so that's one. And now you're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the right, so that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now we're going to be switching back over to, actually we're not going to switch back over, this is the first time we're switching to it. Uh, let's switch over to the light gray concrete. Now with the light gray concrete, we're going to be placing one block underneath this white wool, so that's one. 
And now we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two. And now place one block going down to the right. So that's one. So it should look exactly like this. All right, now that we've got that, we're going to be switching back over to the black wool. Now with the black wool, actually we're going to be switching over to the placement block first. Uh, with the placement block, let's head back to these 10 black wools here that we had going up on the right. Starting from the bottom block on the right side, so from there, we're going to be placing two placement blocks going up. So that's one and two. Switch over to the black wool, place one black wool on top of the placement block. So that's one. Now we can go ahead and get rid of these two. All right, now starting from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one, two. Next, you're going to be placing seven blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks now. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and switch over to the uh, cyan terracotta. Not the cyan wall, but the terracotta. So switch over to the cyan terracotta, and we're going to be filling in this small space here with the terracotta. Fill this up. There we go. Alright, so now that we've gotten that done, what we're going to do next is going to be a little quick time lapse. We're going to switch over to the sand block, and we're also going to be needing the birch plank. So we're going to be filling in two empty spaces. First empty space we're going to be filling in is this spot right here. Staying within the outline, you're going to be filling in this spot with the sand. And once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the birch plank, and you're going to be filling in this empty spot right here that kind of goes down and then goes back up here, then goes down and goes back up here. Staying within the outline, you're going to be filling in this area here with the birch plank, just this spot. So top, birch plank, bottom, sand. So go ahead and do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now what we're going to be doing is switching back over to the black wool. And with the black wool, I want to move back down here, back to where we had these two white wools that I had to place. This one white underneath these two black wools, and then another one going down to the left. So let's move back over here. We're going to start with the first white wool that's up here. We're going to place one black wool on the right side of it. So place one black wool there on the right. So that's one. Then we're going to be placing another black wool going down to the left. So that's one. And once we've done that, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. So that's one. Now from this one block, we're going to be placing from here uh, three sets of twos going down on the left. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two, and one, two, three. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement. Head back down here. And now from here, we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. And now from this one block, we're going to start underneath it. So from there, we're going to be adding two black walls going to the right. So starting from there, that's one and two. So we get this mini L shape here. And once we've done that, let's just quickly switch over to the sand block. And we're going to be placing a sand block on the top uh, block of uh, the right side of these two black wools. Just put one sand block there. Next, we're going to be switching back over to the black wool, starting on the left side of these two black wools. So from here, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Get rid of the placement blocks. And now we're going to be placing one black wool going down to the left. That's one. And it should be making contact with these three black wools that we had here. So once you've done that, we're going to be switching over to the, let's see if I can get a little organized here, so I don't mess up the order. <laughs> Let me put away some stuff. All right, so now what we're going to be doing is switching over to the light, uh, light gray concrete. So switch over to the light gray concrete. And we're going to start from the the three black holes here, the ones that we just made contact with, the, that one black hole. So starting on the left side on top of it, so starting from there, we're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the left. Again, this is the light gray concrete, so that's one, two, three. 
I'm actually going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to start on top of the right block of these two blocks. So starting from there, we're going to be adding two uh, light gray concretes to the right. So that's one and two. Next, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across. Uh, not two sets of twos. What am I saying? One block. We're going to be just placing one block going up to the right. I'm getting ahead of myself. So that's one. So it should look like this. Just one. Okay, now from here, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Next, we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. So that's one. And now from here, we're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. And once you've done that, we're going to be placing from here two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. Next, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. So that's one. Now, going back to these two blocks, like gray concrete, underneath the right block, we're going to be adding one block. So that's one. So it should look like this. Now, we're going to quickly switch over to the cyan terracotta. So switch over to the cyan terracotta. We're going to move back over here to the left. And we're going to be filling in this small kind of upside down T shape, capital T. Fill this in with the cyan terracotta. And once you've done that, I want you to switch over to the white wool. We're going to be switching to the white wool now. After you fill that in, we're going to head back up here and we're going to be filling in these small spaces in between the black wool and the light gray concrete, just up here, only up here. So just fill in these areas with white wool. And now once you fill that in with the white wool, we're going to want to switch over to the light gray wool. So let's switch over to the light gray wool. And we're going to be filling in this empty space that's right here with the light gray wool. So let's go ahead and fill this in. Let's fill that right up. And there we go. All right, so now that we've filled that up, what we're going to be doing next is doing some more outlining. So uh, let's go ahead and put away these blocks for now until we actually need them. It's more for me, actually, because there we go. Everything is organized. So we're going to be switching back over to the black wall. And we're going to go back to where we left off that sand, that one sand by itself. We're going to start on the right side of it. So starting from there, the sand, we're just going to be adding one black wall. So that's one. Next, you're going to be placing two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's go to the placements. And now we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. That's one. And now from this one block, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. Now once you've done that, you're going to be placing two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one and two. Next, we're going to be placing five black wolves going down on the right. So five black wolves going down on the right. That's one, two, three, four, five. Let's head back up, get rid of the placement block. And now this time, let's head back again to these two black wolves. This time, we're going to be going up on the right. So starting from here, we're going to be placing four sets of twos going up on the right. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two. One, two, three, and one, two, four. That's four sets of twos. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placements. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. So now let's head back up here and we're going to be placing one block going up to the right. So that's one. And now we're going to quickly switch over to the light gray concrete just for a sec. And we're going to be adding one light gray concrete on the right side of this one black one. So that's one block there. Now let's switch back over to the black wall. Starting on top of the 
light gray concrete. So from here, we're going to be adding two black wolves going up. That's one and two. Next, we're going to be placing one black wolf going up to the up to the right. So that's one. And now from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. That's one and two. Once we've done that, we're going to be placing eight blocks going diagonal up to the right. So eight diagonal. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go ahead and get rid of the placement blocks. And now we're going to head back up here. We're going to switch over to the placement block, and we're going to be placing one placement block on top of this black wool. So that's one. Now, once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the black wool, starting on the right side of this placement block. So starting from there, we're going to be adding 17 black wools going down. 17. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's 17 black wools going down. Okay, make sure you count it correctly. It looks like this. And now that we've done that, let's go back up here. Let's get rid of that placement block. And from here, let's see. Uh, we're going to start from the top block. Let's start from the top block of these 17 black wools. So going back up here, starting from here. We're going to be placing three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two, three. Next, we're going to be placing five blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Let's get back over here. And now to connect this, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two. Let's get rid of that placement block. All right, so now we're going to go back to the five black wolves that we just placed here. So going back to the five, we're starting on the right side of the five. So from here, we're going to be placing one block going down to the right. That's one. Now, once we've done that, we're going to quickly switch over to the sand block. Now, with the sand block, we're going to be filling in this small space here with the sand. So, go ahead and fill this in with sand. And once you've done that, you're going to be switching over to the white wool. And with the white wool, going back to this one black wool here that we placed on the left side of it, we're going to be adding five whites going to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five. Next, you're going to be placing two whites going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. And now we're going to be placing three wolves going diagonal down to the left. That's one, two, and three. So now I'm going to fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Very simple and easy. And now what we're going to be doing is switching over to the sand block. Now with the sand block, we're going to go ahead and fill in this empty space right here with the sand block, uh, staying within the outline. So go ahead and fill this in right here with the sand. We're going to go ahead and time lapse it. All right, so now that we're done filling it in, it should look like this. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to the black wool. And with the black wool, we're going to move over here to the right. We're going to go uh, to the top block of the 17 black wools here. You can see that we just finished filling in one of our fingers, giving the peace sign. So starting from the top block from here, from the top of the 17, we're going to be placing 18 black wools going up on the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's 18 black wolves. Let's head back down here and get rid of the placement block. And now we're going to go ahead and let's see. We're going to move back down here. Let's go back to the five black wolves that we placed here. It's kind of in the, in the middle of our piece sign fingers, uh, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the placement block. Starting from the bottom block on the left side, we're going to be placing one placement block here on the left, so put one block there. Switch over to the black wool, we're going to be placing one black wool on all three of the placement block sides. So that's one on top, one on the left, and one underneath. So it should look like that. Next, get rid of the placement block there, and switch over to the sand block and fill this in with the sand. Fill that right there. Now I'll switch back over to the black wool, starting underneath this one black wool. So from there, we're going to be adding four blocks going to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. 
Now, once we've done that, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to go ahead and actually leave that alone for now. We're going to move over here to the left. I want you guys to, let's see, uh, we, yeah, let's go back over here. Let's go all the way back down to the tie at the bottom bottom part of the tie. Switch over to the placement block. We're going to move to this 15 black wools, these 15 black wools from the bottom block on the right side. So from there, we're going to be adding two placement blocks going to the right. So that's one, two. Switch over to the black wool, add one black wool on the right side, so that's one. And let's get rid of that, so you can see that it looks, should look like this. Now from this one black wool, you're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the left. So that's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Let's get rid of the placement block. And now we're going to be switching over to the cyan terracotta. So switch over to the cyan terracotta and fill in this empty spot right here with the cyan terracotta. There we go. Now once you've done that, we're going to be switching over to the white wool. Now with the white wool, let's head back over here to this one black wool. On the right side of it, we're going to be adding one white wool, so that's one. And now we're going to be placing two sets of twos going up on the left. That's one, two, one, and one, two, two. Next, we're going to be placing ten blocks going up on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And once you've done that, we're going to be placing four blocks going up on the right. That's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going up on the right. So that's one and two. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. And now we're going to switch back over to the black wall. And with the black wool, let's head back over here. Let's go back to the four black wools we had going across. We're going to start on the left side of it this time. So starting from there, we're going to be placing two blocks going down on the left. So that's one and two. And now we're going to be placing one block going down to the left. That's one. Now switch over to the placement block. Put a placement block on the left side of this black wool. So that's one. Switch back over to the black wool, starting underneath the placement block. So starting from there, we're going to be adding 15 black wools going to the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's 15 black wools that started on underneath the, the placement block there. So let's go ahead and get rid of it. Fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. Now let's head back to the left side of the 15 black wool. So starting from here, we're going to be placing two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two. Next, we're going to be placing two blocks going down, or not two blocks, sorry, two blocks going diagonal down to the left. So two blocks going diagonal. That's one and two. Not going down, but going at an angle. So it should look like this. Okay. So now we're going to be placing three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three. Get rid of the placement block. And let's head back up here. We're going to go ahead and switch over to the to the birch plank. So let's switch over to the birch plank. And we're going to go back to the 15 black wolves that we had here going across. Let's go to the one black wool that's on top of the 15 on the right side of this one black wool. We're going to be adding two birch planks going to the right. So that's one, two. And now we're going to be placing two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one and two. Let's go to the placement block. And we're going to go ahead and fill in this small empty space here with the birch planks. There we go. So it should look exactly like this. Now I'm going to fly back a bit. And we're going to go ahead and switch over to the block. We'll just give you a better angle of that. And with the black wool, actually no, before we switch over to the black wool, let's switch back over to the birch plank. Let's head back to these three black wools. Underneath the left block, we're going to be adding one birch plank. So that's one. So it should look like that. Now, switch over to the black wool. On the right side of the black wool, or of the birch plank, we're going to be adding one black wool. So that's one. And on the left side, we're also going to be adding just one black wool. So that's one. And now let's move underneath it. Now underneath it, we're going to be adding three black wools going to the left. So that's one, two, three. So it should look like that. Now starting underneath the left block, so starting from there, we're going to be adding three blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, and three. Let's get rid of the placement blocks. I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this. 
So I'm going to go ahead and pause here and continue the Hatsune Miku Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial in the next part. Most likely the next part is going to be out tomorrow, so you might want to stay tuned for that. So with all that being said, make sure to stay tuned in for the next Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial part. Mm -hmm.